she conceived by the Holy Ghost. How Mary, for the grace of all is with thee, blessed are among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and for the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. How Mary, for the grace of all is with thee, blessed are among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Now Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. <coughs> Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion may we come to know the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. In nomine Patris, if you hear Spiritus Sancti, Amen. In tuoi curatari, Dei, and Dei, will give you the truth to man. Io ricamerei se ci sono le cose gente non santa, ma non me ne potrò assorbire. Quei tu stai usciti tu, ma quando le crisi si sono risolte in cielo, tu mi fliggi nei miei bus. E mi dai luce per le verità del tuo Dio, se mi dai luce per il tuo stero, ti monto un santo tuo, ma ti dà la parola tua. E ti introdurrò più a te, e ti introdurrò i volatari, e ti incritifica più con tutto il mio. Confite i voti vinci della Deo, stai usciti, se mi dai luce per me, ti guardi il tuo passo. Spero in Deo, quando mi tocco più dei voti, di salutare i voti su me e dei voti su me. Gloria, Padre, Figlio e Spirito di Santo, si cura che è dato in principio e non per sempre, e ti sei cura a seguirlo, Amen. In tua idolatare Dei, ed è in critica di un tutto meno, auditori nostri di nomi e donne di cui feci il cielo e metà in alto. Con figli di un'altra metà in TV, a domani e sempre di TV, a metà nel cane, non mi ha come battista, e sta qui sposto il spetto, e qua mi ha due mani mani di via, non più santi di nuovo di sfratti, lui è portato in un'unica procedenziale, ma è voluto offrire il mio culto, ed è ovvero dopo te a tarmarmi al cielo di Gene di Adunai ma canci un dato buono battista un santo sposto spetto un po' un via di buona valle di Arco un santo sposto a te ora le pomme ed ovvero del nostro misere a tutti i miei potenzi e si deve spiegare se tu spiegare te 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 confiti o Deo ogni potenti beati Maria sempre vigili beati Michele a cancero beati Ioanni Battista Sanctis Apostoli Spetro et Paolo, Omnibus Sanctis et Tibi Pater, Quia Pecaminibis Progetatione Verbo et Opere, Mea Culpa, Mea Culpa, Mea Maxima Culpa, Ideo Prego Veratam Mariam Sempre Vigilem, Beatum Michael Marcangelo, Beatum Ioan Baratista, Sanctus Apostoli Spetro et Paolo, Omnes Sanctus et Tere Pater, Orale Prome, and Dominum Deo Nostro. Miseria tu, versi in ipotenza, e usetemi spiegati, versi spedunca e vostra vita a metà no. Amen. Amen. Indulgenza, ostruzione, intermissione, peccatore, non solo in tribù, e non mi sono ipotenza, miseria e posto a Dio. Amen. Nero stupi versi spiegati, e perci tu e lei, a metà in te, o se di nomi slogan, misericordia a tua, e salutare tu e da nervis, donne e esaltirazione a me, e clama me lo sente e venia, dormi lo suo disco, e con lo spirito tuo, ordeno. Exurge, guari o dormi, storte, exurge e ne repelas in fine, guari faccia in tuo maverti, sopra i viceri, stribulazione, prosta, a te si ti interamente naste, exurge, domini, adiuva nos e libera nos, Deus auribus nostis avivimus, patris nostri annuncia verus nobis, gloria, patri e figlio, e spirito e santo, si crederà in principio e nunca e sempre, e ti insegura seculorum, amen, exurge, guari o dormi, storte, Exurge e ne repena sin fine, quare facci in tuo me verti sopra i viceri di tribulazione nostra, ad esiti interamente nostre. Exurge, Domine, adiuvanos e libranos. Kiri Anderson, Kiri Anderson, Kiri Anderson. 
como visti domine terram et contubasti ea, sana contrictionis eus, cuia morta est, ut fugia ta faci arcus, ut liberentur electi tui. et con spirito tuo sequenzi santi vangeli secondo Luca gloria ti di Domine e nello tempo e con tuorba plurima convinere in te dei discipitati us protera in terria e su dex et per similitudine ex et qui seminat seminare semen suum et dum seminat alle uce cidit secus via et concucatum est et volucre est celi cum devunt et aliut cecidit supra petra, et natum arvid, quia non habebat humorem. Et aliut cecidit inter spinas, et simul exorte spine suffocaverum tilum. Et aliut cecidit inter ambonam, et ordum fecit fructum centuro. Et dicens clamabat, qui habet aures adiendi audiat. Interrogabat autem em discipuli eus, quae esite in coragula, qui vos ipse dixit, Vobis datum es nossi misterium degni dei, ceteris autemi parobis, ut videntes non videant, et audientes non intelligant, est autem hen parabola. Semenes verbum dei, qui autem sit et secus viam, qui sunt qui audiunt, dei in dei venit diabolus, et tolit verbum de corde eorum, de credentes salpifia. Dam qui supra petram, qui cum audierunt, cum gaudius suscipiot verbum, et hi radices non habem, qui a tempus credunt, et in tempore tentationis recedunt. Quod autem in spinas cecidi, hi sunt qui audierunt, et a solicitudin unibus, et evitsis, et voluntatsibus vitae eundes suffocantur, et non referunt fructum. Quod autem in bonam teram, hi sunt qui in corde bono, et optimo audientes verbum retine, et fructum afferunt in passiens. Laus Tibi Christi. The Epistle on this, the third ferrier after Sex Agesima Sunday, is taken from the second letter of Blessed Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians. Brethren, you find it easy to be patient with the vanity of others, you who are so full of good sense, while you let other people tyrannize over you, prey upon you, take advantage of you, vaunt their power over you, browbeat you. I say this without taking credit to myself, I say it as if we had no power to play such a part, yet in fact, here my vanity speaks, I can claim all that others claim. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they descended from Abraham? So am I. Are they Christ's servants? And these are wild words. I am something more. I have toiled harder, spent longer days in prison, been beaten so cruelly, so often looked death in the face. Five times the Jews scourged me and spared me, but one lash in the forty. Three times I was beaten with rods, once I was stoned. I have been shipwrecked three times. I have spent a night and a day as a castaway at sea. What journeys I have undertaken, in danger from rivers, in danger from robbers, in danger from my own people, in danger from the Gentiles, danger in cities, danger in the wilderness, danger in the sea, danger among false brethren. I have met with toil and weariness, so often been sleepless, hungry and thirsty, so often denied myself food, gone cold and naked, and all this over and above something else which I do not count. I mean the burden I carry every day, my anxious care for all the churches. Does anyone feel a scruple? I share it. Is anyone's conscience hurt? I am ablaze with indignation. If I must needs boast, I will boast of the things which humiliate me. The God who is Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, blessed be his name forever, who knows that I am telling the truth. When I was at Damascus, the agent of King Aletas was keeping guard over the city of the Damascenes, intent on seizing me, and to escape from his hands I had to be let down through a window along the wall in a hamper. We are to boast, although boasting is out of place, 
I will go on to the visions and revelations the Lord has granted me. There is a man I know who was carried out of himself in Christ fourteen years since. Was his spirit in his body? I cannot tell. Was it apart from his body? I cannot tell. God knows. This man at least was carried up into the third heaven. I can only tell you that this man, with his spirit in his body, or with his spirit apart from his body, God knows which, not I, was carried up into paradise, and heard mysteries which man is not allowed to utter. That is the man about whom I will boast. I will not boast about myself, except to tell you of my humiliations. It would not be vanity if I had a mind to boast about such a man as that. I should only be telling the truth. But I will spare you the telling of it. I have in mind that anybody should think of me except as he sees me, as he hears me talking to him. And indeed, for fear that these surpassing revelations should make me proud, I was given a sting to distress my outward nature, an angel of Satan sent to rebuff me. Three times it made me entreat the Lord to rid me of it, but he told me, My grace is enough for thee, my strength finds its full scope in thy weakness. Moreover then, I delight to boast of the weaknesses that humiliate me, so that the strength of Christ may enshrine itself in me. And the Holy Gospel today is a continuation of that according to St. Luke. At that time, when a great multitude had gathered, and more came flocking to Jesus out of the cities, he spoke to them in a parable. Here is the sower gone out to sow his seed. And as he sowed, there were some grains that fell beside the path, so that they were trodden underfoot, and the birds flew down and ate them, and others fell on the rocks, where they withered up as soon as they were up, because they had no moisture. And some fell among briars, and the briars grew up with them and smothered them. But other fell where the soil was good, and when these grew up they yielded a hundredfold. So saying, he cried aloud, Listen, you that have ears to hear with. Then his disciples asked him what this parable meant, and he told them, It is granted to you to understand the secret of God's kingdom. The rest must learn of it by parables, so that they can watch without seeing and listen without understanding. The parable means this, The seed is God's word. Those by the wayside hear the word, and then the devil comes and takes it away from their hearts, so that they cannot find faith and be saved. Those on the rock are those who entertain the word with joy as soon as they hear it, and yet have no roots. They last for a while, but in time of temptation they fall away. And the grain that fell among the briars stands for those who hear it, and then, going on their way, are stifled by the cares, the riches, and the pleasures of life, and never reach maturity. And the grain that fell in good soil stands for those who hear the word and hold by it with a noble and generous heart and endure and yield a harvest. How many full of grace the Lord is with thee. Blessed are our among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Carissimi beloved in Christ, welcome to this broadcast mass on this third feria of sexagesima. We reflected yesterday on our uh, need sometimes to be humbled by God. Indeed, how it is sometimes that it is only when God humbles us uh, that we can change and transform and refashion our lives after uh, that image which he had first intended for mankind. We see my brothers and sisters in various examples of uh, people's lives, how it is necessary sometimes for them to reach rock bottom before they can change their life or address those things that are affecting their life. And the same is true also for us uh, spiritually. Quite often, my brothers and sisters, we need a crisis, we need uh, a tragedy sometimes to make us realise or reawaken ourselves to the presence of God in our lives or of our necessity for him. We've been reflecting the last couple of days uh, how it is uh, that we struggle with humility, we struggle with the concept of humility because of our uh, ego, because of our uh, selfishness and quite often uh, we would try and strive to be self-reliant. And often, my brothers and sisters, we consider uh, self-reliance to be a virtue in other situations, but not, my brothers and sisters, when it comes to spirituality and God. It is in God that we must place ourselves. It is upon Him that we should seek redress and uh, we should seek our strength. And this is order in order so that 
the words uh, of the apostle uh, may be true for us as much as it was for him that he says God spoke to him. My grace is enough for thee, my strength finds its full scope in thy weakness. My strength finds its full scope in thy weakness. This, my brothers and sisters, is not the first time in scripture that such a notion uh, is decreed by God, um, but we, my brothers and sisters, ought to respond to it with that same humility and that same love of God with which the Blessed Virgin Mary herself uttered the words uh, of the Magnificat. He raises the lowly. My soul doth magnify the Lord, my spirit rejoiceth in God my Saviour, for he has regarded the, the lowliness of his servant. And yet he puts down the mighty from their seats and raises the humble and meek. It is, my brothers and sisters, in the small things of life that God, it would seem, tends on the whole to work great power. Was in the weakness and the fragility of a human baby that he appeared to shepherds in a stable in Bethlehem, who was the Messiah. It was in the slaughter of the innocents that the necessity of sacrifice was made manifest to made manifest to us by those who practice evil for themselves. It was in the words of a twelve-year-old boy seemingly remonstrating with his mother in the temple who had yet wowed and amazed the priests and the scribes and the Pharisees there astonished by his wisdom, this wisdom from one so young. was in the recruitment of a mixed band of ordinary men that the gospel and the church would rise, grow, expand and increase and reach out for 2,000 years to the present day. A mixed bag of fishermen and tax collectors, ordinary people whom God yet created Christendom with, of course it was a simple young woman whom God chose to bring all this about to work with, to fashion and give birth to the Son of God, to the Son of Man, to the Messiah for all peoples. It was in the weakness and the fragility of virgins, martyred for their faith in Christ, that the Church grew. It was through the confession of the simple non-renouncing of the faith by men and women through the ages that made the light of the gospel illumine others. It was and it continues to be through the lives of ordinary people God's power is yet seen. In them for whom miracles are wrought great and small, for whom prayers and intercessions are answered, through whom in acts 
of simple kindness and generosity. God's love and his presence among his people is made known. And it is under the simple guise of bread and wine that he yet feeds us still with that new manna from heaven, wrought by the blood of sacrifice, his own, that we who receive it might have eternal life. It is in all these weak and feeble things, in all these fragile and little things, that the gospel of redemption has been made known to us. And which is why it is yet possible, my brothers and sisters, that great things might yet be brought in and through us. Well done, thou good and faithful servant, thou hast been mindful of little things. Therefore shall I give thee great things to thy charge. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. We, my brothers and sisters, have been given charge over little things. The little things of everyday life maybe clothing, maybe food, maybe drink. Maybe flowers, maybe fall or maybe earth, maybe seed. All these things we have been made stewards of as mankind, given stewardship over the earth. And yet from all these little things, greater things come. Care over uh, clothing. When you think about from whence the materials for clothes come from, from cotton buds and silken, silk um, cocoons, from the wool of lamb, and yet such beautiful things can be fashioned from seeds that plant trees and flowers, seeds that produce food like wheat and grain, that then in turn produces flour and in turn produces bread. fruit, trees and vines that then can be turned into wine and liquor and drink. The gift of life in little babies to parents from whom may grow an inventor, a discoverer of a cure an apostle, a husband, or a wife, a mother, or a father again. All through little things. All of this, my brothers and sisters, I'm trying to example, to demonstrate or to explain. How ordinary it is. All these things that I've spoken of are ordinary. We ourselves are ordinary. And it is actually by virtue of our being ordinary that extraordinary things can come about. We are, each and every one of us, charged with proclaiming the gospel to our own generation. Not all of 
of us, though, are necessarily called to the sacred ministry. Not all of us are great academics or theologians. Not all of us are great orators. But all of us are similarly charged. And yet while some of us may shrink or shy away from that charge to effect God's will upon the earth for the salvation of souls, it is then that we must remember these words that were spoken to the Apostle and thus are spoken to us. My grace is enough for thee. My strength finds its full scope in thy weakness. So we see, my brothers and sisters, in our ordinariness, in our fragility, in our frailty, in our weakness, combined with a true sense of humility about ourselves and about ourselves in relation to God, Two of these things combined together enable God to do great things by us. It all comes down, as we reflected yesterday, upon our trusting in Him. allowing ourselves to recognize our weakness and yet allowing ourselves and our weakness to be used by him. And it is in the ordinary things of our lives that the gospel can be spread. It is just by the ordinariness of social interaction that we can give an account for that hope that we have within us when we hear and are told about the strife and struggles of others. It is then we can give testimony to the way in which we know God in our lives and how we know God has touched us in our lives. It is in the ordinariness of social interaction that we can convey the joy of knowing God, that we can convey the joy of knowing the love of God by ourselves manifesting his love toward others in the way that we respond to others in their petitions for help or assistance We, my brothers and sisters, should think of ourselves being as we are, as the Apostle says elsewhere, ambassadors for Christ. We should seek ourselves to demonstrate the love of God for others through us by heeding their requests, by listening to their pleas for help, by being patient, by being kind by being generous where we can. As we go through Lent, we will reflect further upon these ways in which, through our ordinary lives, God may yet work extraordinary things through us. Chief of which, is the salvation of souls. Which is why, of course, Holy Mother Church in this time of Jessima and Holy Lent is asking us to reflect upon our spiritual conditions and to address and redress where necessary. So that when we can once again say the A word, we will be and act and behave like an Easter people. And we will go out with joy.
to tell others of his glory and of the promised glory to us who would believe in him, who is God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Dominus Obiscum et cum Spiritum Duo. Ordemus. Perfice Gresus meus in semitis tuis, ut nome veantur vestigia mea, inclina aure tua per exalti verba mea, verifica misericordias tuas, qui salvus facis ferantes in te, Dom. Benedictus, 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 benedictus
Hosanna in excelsis. Scopo i vendetori.
Ecce omnius Dei, ecce qui tolit peccato mundi. Domine non sum dignus, ut interes sub tecto meo, sed tantum digna non, et senatitur anima mea. Domine non sum dignus, ut interes sub tecto meo, sed tantum digna non, et senatitur anima mea. Domine non sum dignus, ut interes sub tecto meo, sed tantum digna non, et senabitur anima mea. Brothers and sisters watching Mass online and unable therefore to receive the Blessed Sacrament, we invite you now to make an act of spiritual communion, the words of which you will find below your viewing screen. My Jesus, I believe that Thou art present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love Thee above all things, and I desire Thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive Thee sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. As though thou wert already there, I embrace thee, and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen.
Dominus Vobiscu, et cum Spiritu Tu. Ordemus. Supplices te rogamus omnipotens Deus, ut quas tuis reficis sacramentis, tibi est si amplacitis moribus dignante presedire concetas. Per Dominum nostrum, Iais in Christum, Filum Tu, vite cum de bedaregno ad unilitatis Filipus Santi Deus. Per omnia secula seculor. Amen. Ordemus. Mundi le mundi ad oscaesimus, Domini Divini, Sacramenti Murso, Blacum, Neti, Ente Giudente, Beate, Virgine, De Genetrice, Maria, Cum Beato Iosefi, Alci Sepostis, Tu Respetto, Tu Posto, Tu Beati, Sputi, Mari, Tu Figli, Domini Tu Sanctis, Alcontis Nos Regi, Et Profes, Et Verses Sassicus, Ex Beatus, Et Et Verses Sassicus, Ex Verditas. Caesimus, Domini Deus Nostre, Et Ut Posto, Fine, Tripi, Vis Patici, Vazzi, Alga, Dere, Cum Maes, Ancinius, Ancere, Tu Dico, Per Domino Nostro, che è su Cristo, un figlio, un tu, vi tengo un grido da regno ad un'unità di Spirito Santo e Deus. Per ogni secolo e secolo. Amen. Domino Sobiscu, e con Spirito tuo, benedicamus Domino, Deo grazie. Nome Domini Benedictum, e so dunque dusco in secula, auto tornos, mi Domini Domini, qui feci genum et terra, benedicat vos, omnipotens Deus. Pate, et filius, et spiritus sanctus. Amen. Dominus Vobiscum, et con spirito tuo, anicium sancti Vangeli, secondo mio Padre, gloria a ti, vita Domini. In principio, ora è vero, ma 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 è vero, e mundo erato e mundo spirito factus e sumo se non per noi, in proprio benedizione non mi ci perdono, qual quadro te mi ci perdono, te mi dici per estate, un figlio stai fieri, chi spi credi in nome di Deus, qui non è sanguinimo, snecco non è tanti cani, snecco non è tanti vini, snecco non è tanti sono, e il vero non carro factum est, e la vita vita in nome di servirimo, sgloria e meus, gloria e quasi un genere che è parte, la grazia e verità, Deo grazie.
pray for us. May St. Richard of Chichester pray for us. May Our Lady Queen of Heaven, all the angels and saints, pray for us.